What is happening, gamer guys, gals? My name is and forever will be Cody Storm. I'm and today I'm not actually just waking up and putting my phone and start pressing the record button. I actually have a video planned for one. Um, I'm doing a top 10 video. It's I got a list behind my phone, so I might keep looking at it. Uh, it's a top 10 memorable games of all time for me. Not necessarily my favorite games of all time, but a lot of them probably will be my favorite games, but it's most memorable games to me. And starting off with number 10 would be Simpsons Hit and Run. This is a game that had you who pretty much had your different Simpsons characters and you had to go to different missions and you had different cars and everything. Uh, I think I like Bart's car the best. It was like a spaceship kind of car. It was really cool looking. And I also like Lisa's because she had a convertible too. Uh, it, it was a pretty decent game. I really enjoyed it. Um, I thought about it now and then multiple times. So, uh, n Number 9 on our list is 007 Goldeneye. I almost actually forgot about this game. That's why it's so high on my list of memorable games. I know, I can't believe I almost forgot about this game. It's pretty much the very first decent shooter a first person shooter game and you can have or you can get four people playing so you and three other friends shit I don't have friends god damn it but, um I guess I'll have to see my family play if my family play with me but yeah uh 007 number nine on my list for the most memorable games of all time uh the next game it would be our number 8 on the list is going to be Conker's Bad Fur Day. Not a game for kids at all. When I was a kid, that's when I actually did play this game, but it has a lot of sexual content and swearing and just disturbing stuff for kids. That's why I'm probably so fucked right now as an adult because I probably played this game as a kid. I, I, can't, I can't blame it on the game for being fucked. That's just me. Sorry. Just. And number seven on our list is Majora's Mass. Legend of Zelda Majora's Mass, actually. Uh, this is probably one of the most people's favorite games of all time. I, It's a game where you have three days to pretty much beat the game and get all the masks and everything, but... Uh, one of the the song of time. If you get that, you get that around the first or something. Um, when you get that, all you have to do is play the song backwards, and it reverses time to the very first day, which is pretty cool. Uh, their progress isn't started over. You get all your masks and everything, so you can just keep going and going. So technically, you get more than three days, but. Yeah, really great game, guys. Definitely recommend you check that out. It's on uh, 3DS. You can get it right now. Uh, number six on our list will probably be any Call of Duty game. Mostly, probably Call of Duty Ghost. Because when I didn't have a job and I didn't have nothing else to do when Call of Duty Ghost first came out, uh, I pretty much played that 24-7. And I became... 19th in the world, and then I get a job in my rank, just start slipping back down again. So, but I came 19th in the world, and Call of Duty goes uh, team deathmatch. I'm pretty sure. Uh, number five on our list is I, I love a shooter game. Guys. I, just, I love a shooter game. Number five on the list is Perfect Dark. Uh, you, you may have seen me do a let's play on it. You may have heard me talk about it a couple times. Me and my cousin used to play this game all the time. It is a Nintendo 64 game, and it's you're pretty much an agent. You do different missions, and you can have two players, which is awesome. Perfect Dark, definitely check it out. You get it off Rare Replay, just like Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Uh, number four from Memorable Games with All Time will probably have to be Pokemon Red. Uh, I love Pokemon Red. It's, I, I love. Sorry, that was my. That's my list. I, I love Pokemon Red. It was pretty much the 
best Pokemon game out there for me, just because I like the first gen Pokemon better, and Charizard is my all time favorite Pokemon. I've been looking for a little. Uh, Flushy, I. Or, is it Flushy? I don't know what they call it. They're like little stuffed animal of Charizard, but I can never find any. But yeah, Pokemon Red grabs the fourth spot of memorable games of all time. Uh, number three is any Halo game. If you guys are a fan of my channel and you know me, you know that I love Halo games and the reason I have an Xbox is because of Halo. Because I played it at a friend's house or something like that and I just really wanted it. Uh, it's a first person shooter game. There is a lot of first person shooter games on this list. Let's see one, two, three, four. So yeah, there's four, four to ten games on my list is first person shooter games. Really great game. You, uh, you have to try to stop the covenant from taking over the world, like taking over the planets and everything like that. You have to try to stop them from getting the planet Earth. Number two on my list is Super Mario World 3. Uh, probably one of the best Mario games out there. That's probably that's why it's so high on my list. In my opinion, it's one of the best Mario games out there. Uh, let me know if you guys agree with me there, or if you think there's other Mario games better. Uh, that's pretty. Super Mario World 3 is pretty much what made me a huge Mario fan. I mean, I played the first two games. Actually, the Mario and Duck first original Mario and Duck Hunt is the very first game I've ever played. Just for anybody who wants to know. Uh, before we get to number one spot of list. Uh, we're gonna go to five honorable mentions. First one is Doom. Not the new Doom, because I haven't played it yet. The old Doom. I used to spend hours and hours playing that game. The reason it didn't make it on this list is because I remembered other games. I remember all the other games first before I remember that one. So, yeah. Uh, Duke Nukem. Also, another shooter game. It. Me and my cousin used to play all the time. We, I just, I'm. There's one part I remember perfectly when we were down like a subway area with like trains and everything, and we have these uh, mines with like laser mines. If you go near them, you blow up. That was a really memorable moment for me. It's, per, uh, I remember a lot of his sayings like, "It's time to kick ass and chew some bubble gum." God damn, I'm all in a gum. Something like that. I remember those saying, so it, it's a pretty memorable game for me, but again, I remember the other games before I remembered that one, so it didn't quite make my list. Banjo and Kazooie. It's a platforming game. You're a bear and you have to try to save your sister, and you have a road runner on your back, I want to say. Not 100% sure what it is, but it's a bird. And you can throw the backpack and you can run with them, fly with them, and all that shit. All that good shit. Uh, and we also got Mario Kart, did not make it on the list. Uh, Mario Kart Double Dash is probably one of my memorable games. It's because uh, you could use two people in it, and it's just. I, I played Mario Kart Double Dash multiple times. I played it with my nephew a bunch of times or anything. I just, I didn't remember it when I was doing my list. I did my list yesterday and I was at work. Just, shh, don't tell my boss. I might get in trouble. Um, last honorable mention is Super Smash Brothers. Huge Super Smash Brothers fan, guys. I actually entered a, or I was going to enter a tournament, but there was just, there's too many little kids and I just didn't want to make them cry, you know. No, I, I actually love Super Smash Brothers. I love the... Uh, Super Smash Brothers, um, what's it called? Not Melee. Brawl, that's it. I think I loved Brawl the most because it had Marth in it. And not very many people can actually beat me when I'm playing as Marth. And for y'all you don't know, Super Smash Brothers is a uh, fighting game. It's actually one fighting game I really do enjoy. It's, um, it's a cartoon fighting game with all like the Nintendo characters and stuff like that. And I'm pretty sure most of you already know it, but yeah, it's really, it's really great game. And sadly, it didn't make it on the list. 
And without further ado, my top memorable game of all time. This is also my number one favorite game of all time. Um, it is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So in this game, you're a boy waking up in the forest and the Duke of Tree, the Great Duke of Tree just dies or something like that. So you have to set out on your adventure, try to save the world, try to save Princess Zelda from G Ganondorf. I always, I can never pronounce the name right, so. That's what you're getting from me right now is Ganondorf. And that's what's gonna be until somebody cracks me. Uh, but yeah, if if anybody ever played a Legend of Zelda game, it's an amazing game. The uh, Ocarina of Time, you get to control like the weather. You can teleport to different temples and call a horse and everything just with your Ocarina. Ocarina is actually my all-time favorite instrument too, just because of this game. And I really, really want one, but I have other stuff to get first, like my mic and shit like that. But yeah, Ocarina of Time, number one memorable game of all time for me. It is also my favorite game of all time. Um, this was not my top 10 favorite game, it's just top 10 memorable game. There is a lot of on my list that would probably make it on my favorite game list, but yeah, I don't think I have too much more for you guys. I only have 10 hours left of work, then I'm off for 5 days. And a couple Anyways, I'm going to see you guys all in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe, comment down below. Call me out of my shit. Tell me that I suck. Tell me that you don't like what I'm doing. Just tell I want to hear from you. Comment. And yeah, I'm running out of video. I'll see you guys all next video. Bye!